You got caught in my hand, dude. Yeah. Nice. Good call. <laughs> Don't forget you can change your hand grips and slide. You don't have to stay right in front of each other. It's not fencing. Like yep. collegiate fencing where it's in a line. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You're both going full offense. You're not really trying to stop each other so much. Yes. Yeah, that was better. That was taking what he was giving you more. Yeah. And you did the same. He pulled up, you know, see how he pulled up too soon? You had all those options? Yes. Absolutely. That's the same kind of idea that you were doing with sword and shield. When you prematurely pull up in that short grip, he can see all those options he has, all the time in the world to execute. When he pulled up too quickly into that short grip, you had all the time in the world to go, oh, a belly. Pop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Ah, yeah. You had the right idea. So, one sec. Just because you tried to do that. Yep, I appreciate it. So, here's what you did. You were here and you went like this. But that, that didn't like that I didn't do anything. Didn't right? work, yeah. Like look where he's <laughs> at, right? Also, when you do from go from this to go to this, but you didn't move your arms, there's no block here. It's just you're exposing your belly in a slightly different way to him. Yeah. So he's happy. The, uh, if you want to go for that, like if you're going to pull up into this guard, one, too far away, right? Our, our so if you want to be careful of that. But you can use this to set up your next step if you want. But so if he's yeah, like that, so right? You're here so like this, I, and you're up like this. When I first your options here, are to reach out and get this, which is higher, highly he different, back right? When you're trying to catch something far away with a bad angle, yep. this is not going to be ideal. The other thing is, you can go from here and go like that, step into it. I suppose that was what I was trying to do, at least in my brain, and I did try to come idea. there and then step in with that. Yeah. What's yeah, the idea? And they moved it, but I, I, saw the, I saw it. That. Okay, and then I just walked into and it. And then you walked into okay. it. Okay. So you have to always be looking to block that plane. So it's a straight plane, right? And his is a plane. So you're just packing a straight plane in the front. You're blocking the plane across. Mm -hmm. Right? And again, it's, if I block, if I'm sitting here and I block to his shoulder, I'm going to be pretty safe. Like, I can block to his frame. I don't have to go too hard. I can look where his frame is, roughly the same as mine. If I block outside his frame, I'm probably safe. As soon as he has contact, he can pull that shit off. If he doesn't have contact, he has to keep moving. Yep. Every time I've gotten you, you haven't had contact. Yeah, that is accurate. Yeah, that makes sense. Yep. So, if you're going to pull up, make sure you get in there and get it. Yep. If you're going to, and you're going to have to move offline quicker. If you are longer range, you can walk into it too. So you can make this be, like, let's say you want to close on him, right? For whatever yes. reason. So you can be out here and you can push around. When he starts to push back, like right here he's being caged, right? So this is not really an ideal place I want to charge into. I would just stab you. <laughs> yeah. Like once you start doing that, he's going too offense on that. So when he starts to do that, you can time it. You're going click, 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 click. When he goes back, you just roll under and go. Okay. So it would be that bottom corner of his body probably. But let's say, for instance, you just push. Like you're here and you decide to push him some effort into it. When he does something like this, I could go here if I wanted to. But then you gotta think, what's the threat, right? That's not the threat right now, because it's offline, right? I'm even over blocking at a touch, but I'm keeping good pressure on it. But if I just come straight up, he can do something like that, right? So I need to keep the pressure here and do something like that, right? Yeah. And keep pushing it, keep that contact. I'm not doing this to come in where he can get loose. I'm keeping the contact, right? Yeah. Then I can choose what I want to do. I can try to hit him here, or if he starts to see this and he pulls back to it, I can go up to here, I can go to here, I can try to go for something like that if I want. And that's easier than it looks, because that's a pullback. Yeah. 
So, oh, one other tricky one, and you should know this too. So, let's say we're up in this guard, right? We're pushing each other here, and we get to this. Do you know? Oh, I'm dead. I'm that? fucking dead. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I do that all the time. I love that. Yeah. It's a trick. You start. You start with this, right, when it feels safe, and they over push a bit, right? Until you come back to here, and you you turn it, so it feels like they're doing that. Well, you, well, because I know as soon as I get here. There is nothing between your pole arm and my head. Right. That's bad. But a lot of people won't. Yeah. Like they'll just simply not react to that. They'll push back. And when they start to push back, boom, just slide right into it. Yeah. If he wants to, like for instance, he's, we get to here, right? And he pulls off on that. It's this. Okay. Because he's still high for a moment. Yeah. And he pulled off, which gives me an issue. Yeah, absolutely. But he's going to back up. You got to follow it and you have to hit it. Or it's going to be light. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. It, it does. It does as much as it will be. Alright, we'll get that.